This is a demonstration of vapor pressure. I have four liquids. I have propanone, ethanol, water, and ethanoic acid. These four liquids I'm going to rub against the table and I want us to look particularly at how fast these molecules or these liquids evaporate. One important physical intensive property of liquids is their vapor pressure which will affect their rate of evaporation which will affect of course their boiling points which in large part is due to their intermolecular attractions, the attractions they have for one another. So we're going to view how these four liquids evaporate okay, or how fast they evaporate and that's going to give us a clue on how well they stick together, what kind of intermolecular attractions they have for themselves and what kind of boiling points they have and of course what kind of vapor pressure. Right now these four liquids are evaporating. Okay, You don't have to be at your boiling point to evaporate because temperature is an average kinetic energy. However, some of these are evaporating faster. Can't see, okay, because we have too much volume, but if I increase the surface area and rub them on the table, we can. So let's do this demonstration. So I'm going to put my four fingers into these, the four liquids, and I'm going to just, going to just very simply rub across on them. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, and rub. Okay, and you can see that the first liquid, which was the propanone, definitely escaped faster. The second liquid, or the third and the fourth, seem like they're evaporating faster. But in closer, um, if you look close, and we will, they're actually beating up. In fact, the fourth one is beating up more than the third. So it looks like the first one clearly evaporates the fastest, which means its molecules are escaping into the gas phase faster, and propanone has the highest vapor pressure. So it looks like the fourth one might be evaporating faster, okay? But the problem here is that it may appear that way only because they're actually beating up, okay? Now, if we look carefully and we wait, okay, we're going to see one of these three mm -hmm. liquids starting to evaporate, okay, before the others. So let's give that a couple of minutes here. I shouldn't give us too long. But if I was to move this back, okay, we can see that one of the liquids is certainly evaporating before the other two. And if you can see that, that is the ethanol, okay? So the ethanol is evaporating faster than these two. Now these look like they were starting to evaporate faster, but because they actually start beating up, yeah, they actually attracted themselves more. It looks like they were disappearing, but when in fact they were just clumping together because they had high attractive forces. So clearly the first two liquids, the propanone and now the ethanol, have the highest vapor pressure because they're escaping into the gas phase faster. So there's a lot more force due to molecules escaping, as I showed you or you've seen it maybe in some demonstrations or some animations. These liquids are holding on tightly. These guys have stronger intermolecular attractions, so they bead up. So they gave the appearance initially as if they were, in fact, going to evaporate faster. So clearly the propanone and now the ethanol have what kind of attractive forces? Well, they're going to be weaker because they're able to, what, escape into the gas phase easily. They're holding on not as strong as these guys. These guys are holding on so strong that they actually beat up. And you can see that the ethanoic acid, that's the, um, the last line here, they're actually beating up a lot more than the water. So we can say the attractive forces are increasing as I go from propanone to ethanol to water to ethanoic acid. And if I let this video play longer, water would evaporate next and the ethanoic acid. Not going to wait another 10 minutes, but you can see why. And the reasoning is because the ethanoic acid is beating up more, which means it's attracting each other more, okay? Which means it needs a lot more energy okay, then the other three liquids to escape and completely evaporate. Let's see if we can get a closer view of this, this beating up that I'm talking about. 
without losing my focus. Yeah, you can look at the two liquids. They really beat it up more than the other two. And you can see the one on the right here beat it up is beating up a lot more than the water because it what? Well, because it attracts each other more. It has a higher force of attraction between itself, or we say the intermolecular attractions are greater. Okay, so between these four liquids, you can say that this one had the highest vapor pressure, which means the highest rate of evaporation. This one had, or this one's going to have the lowest, or it has the lowest because it is beating up the most. It will, like I say, last the longest, and we would say that these guys, because of their highest vapor pressure, at least propanone, they're going to have the lowest boiling point. They require the least amount of energy to achieve the same pressure upward as the atmospheric pressure, so their boiling points are lower. Higher vapor pressure, higher rate of evaporation, lower boiling points. And of course, these guys had the weakest attractive forces. They didn't spread out. Look at again. Look at uh, propanone again. Did it beat up? Not at all. Okay, it didn't beat up at all. Look at ethanol. Okay, it's going to take a little longer, but did that, is that beating up compared to the water? No, because it doesn't attract each other that strongly. But the water and the ethanol still holding strong because they're higher what, attractive forces. Okay, look at uh, ethanoic acid one more time. Watch how it beads up. Looks like it's what? It's evaporating, but it's actually beating up. Yeah, it looks like it's leaving, but it's actually beating up on itself. Okay, just like water. Water, not as much. Looks like it's might be evaporating, but it's actually beating up on itself because it's attracting itself. Like, right? look how the ethanoic acid. Okay, looks like it's disappearing, but it's just attracting each other so strongly, it's making a thicker, okay, line right there. All right. All right. Any case. That's the demonstration.